You startled me there. Come join me so I can show you guys the basement. Guys, my name is DJ Yatos. This is Yatos Basement. This is damn ass rock. It was this damn ass rock. Ow. This is Yatos Basement, and today we'll be giving you guys a tour of our gym. This section of the gym, which is where we originally started from, we had a blanket from there to around here, a blanket, and it was just straight up carpet. And we first started off the first year, it was just this rack, and you can see a little preview of that right now. And right here we got our homemade bar rack. And the link will be in the description of how we made it. Right here we got chains for resistance training. Another right here. Because you need two for each side. And then we got a shit ton of pulleys. Um, we actually use the pulleys right here. Connect them right here. Fucking shit stuck. <laughs> How does it get yeah, stuck like that? When bro? you have a lot of gym members, people don't want to make sure everything's. This ball's in place. not. How the fuck did this ball get in here? I don't know, but people like to break shit in the gym. <laughs> How did this ball get in here, dude? I don't know. It's fucking animals. Um, people don't like to tell us when something's broke, so I, I don't know. they just like to break shit more. Anyways, you get the point. Um, you could actually connect this guy. Up here. And then you can attach two hand pulleys and then you know you get the idea to your flies. Is it from here to there? Now over to the bar rack. Stay away from the night time. Every single day. This is your normal bench bar, Ohio bar, I believe. Uh, yep. And then you got your deadlift bar. Just another bar that we use for like, I don't know, it's a piece of shit. It's like 10 bucks. And then this one's another Ohio bar. And your SSB bar. And then two two curl bars that we use. This one's a bit like janky as fuck. It's the first one, first one we got. Uh, this is a uh, lat pull down, which you, we connect right there and do it. And on the right side, we got all our clips. We got about like 50,000, so it's good to put on the bars. Um, <laughs> we have two perfectly good all in one racks. Now, onto this side. This side holds all our records. Every single time we break a PR on squat, bench, or deadlift, we mark them off and write a new rec record to set. Yeah! I'm waiting right now. like 15 people here so we got a shit ton of folders here and then more over there I'll get to that later here we got our buddy Bo who is in the Marines right now in boot camp um, broke a state record for bench and then Joey Cabrera broke, broke another state record for bench we're gonna have more um, state records for sure 
We're competing in April 27th, so be on the lookout for that. And we're actually gonna hang up all of our achievements, all of our medals, trophies, up on that wall, or this wall, Do doesn't matter. That one right there. And then right here, we got a bunch of wrist wraps that everyone uses, Just they just throw them on top of here. Um, right here we got the therapeutic gun. Shit works wonders. If you have soreness anywhere on your body, you just jam it up there. And then you're cured. Here we got a water jug. It's good for drinking water. And Big Ed uses it. Tastes like mildew. Uh, you got your normal white pork. Um, these dumbbells were actually donated to us by a good friend of ours. We sometimes use them if the dumbbell rack over there gets used. Well, actually, right here, you got your average adjustable dumbbells that we use, been using for like two and a half years. You just put weight on it and then put it on a clip, and then there's your dumbbell. <laughs> here, a little storage. You got your measuring tape, um, a three hole puncher. Just your random junk. Get a zoom in on that. That's some good stuff right there. Good stuff for Roonies. Yeah. That's a lot of good stuff. And our bottom drawer. Our accessories. A few bricks. And then we got... Got a suitcase. Extra packing. More accessories in here. Got a chair, perfectly good for sitting. Seems fluffy, but uh, does she oh, get in there again? Oh, oh my! She God. always gets in there. That's whatever. It's my dog. Our GHB, we got it for what was it? Two hundred. Retail is six hundred. Um, down good here. Up. What? Good. That was a good come up. Yeah. yeah. Good come up. Yeah. Uh, down here is our dip bar. We attach it to. The Rogue RML Light Monster Rack. Right there. Bam. Bam, bam, thank you, man. These are banging ass speakers. We play a lot of Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus. Nice. Over in this corner, we have about five or six cubby holes where the lifters put their knee sleeves, knee wraps, shoes. Uh, this is a newspaper that we were featured on in the Huntley newspaper. Easier. Thank you, Bree. Shout out, Bree. And over on these hooks, we have rope bands, Elite FTS bands, our belts. Sometimes we put our sweaters up here. You know, the whole shebang. The whole shebang. Before I talk about our gym extension that we added early 2019, this entire area, 24 by 18, we've been lifting in for three years. that we don't really use. You got a ab wheel, and then you got a back roller, or you can use it for your legs. Um, boxing gloves. Uh, we put these on our bench so we can stick our backs to the bench instead of just slipping. And we also put these bands here to stick to the bench. Here in this direction at two o'clock from over here from yesterday's, we got, first, we got a first aid kit. Most important to have a first aid kit in your gym, just in case someone deadlifts and gets the shit all bloody shit ton of supplements. Most of these are all empty. We didn't feel like throwing them out because it looked cool if it was just up here. Um, shit, ton of, shit ton of single use pre-workouts. Right here you got your Advil. Biofreeze. I don't even know who the hell uses this, you know? Nah, I don't. It just looks cool there. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, Want to explain this? Capsaicin is... Sort of similar to an icy hot, 
you apply it to any part of your skin that has inflammation, like elbow pain. Another icy hot, same, works the same as BioFreeze. Uh, Febreze, just in case someone farts. Hand sanitizer. Got a shit ton of folders as we had over there. Um, yeah, this is about like, about like eight more athletes. And that's pretty much it of a main compartment. And right here, our two amplifiers. We only use one because it looks cool if we have two. But we never mentioned how we have surround sound all throughout the gym. We got two speakers over there, speaker right here, main console, two more right here, and then your banging ass speaker over there, same one as over there. Only two actually work, so get the benefit of that. We got your double rack, 10 through 75. Five pound increments. Five pound increments. Chalk for deadlift or squat, bench, you know, wherever it is, it's there. You got your deadlift platform. Another compartment, you got your knee wraps that we haven't used, haven't even touched them actually. And then your hip circle for warming up your hips. <laughs> then you got your um, slingshot right here. This is the yellow, uh, what is this, like the medium? No, it's the full bore one. Your deadlift straps. More knee wraps that we do use because we compete in the raw division. Here we got your average plate holder. Thank you guys so much for watching that home gym tour. Everyone should be here in about about 30 minutes. Oh, yeah.